Hello everyone, coming back to the virtual lab. So today I'm going to demonstrate an experiment on XFORM series software, that is, the effects of drugs on the ciliary motility of frog esophagus. So I'm going to see how the effects of drugs are acting on the ciliary movements of frog esophagus. So first I need to click on virtual practice. Then I will click here to start the experiment. On clicking here, this screen appears. Let's quickly see the objective of the experiment. To find out the action of certain drugs on the ciliary motility of frog esophagus. Experiment. Let's go through the points. The inner face shows two groups of frog. So containing six in each group which have been allotted to two groups. Select the groups to be treated with the test drug, acetylcholine and vehicle. Administer the respective treatment to individual animals and then put a poppy seed at the intestine part of the frog. Click the frog to observe the selected frog. Record the response time at which the seeds move, that is a poppy seed. Record the response time at which the seed move at the caudal end of the frog intestine. The frog in the test group are injected. Acetylcholine and the frog in the control group are administered with normal saline. So here the main four key points, two groups of frog each containing six in each. One is test drug acetylcholine and next is the vehicle that is administered in both the two groups of the frog. Results to be obtained or observed and next the movement of the poppy seed will determine the time taken by the acetylcholine and the saline provided. Now, we all know that in pharmacology, the effects of drugs on the ciliary motility of a frog includes the cholinergic drugs causes the contraction of cilia which is leading to the increased movements and the anticholinergic drug causes paralysis of cilia leading to the decreased movement. So, here we are using the drug acetylcholine which is a cholinergic drug. So, as per theory discussed, the movement should be faster and the time taken should be lesser. So, let's quickly see in the experiment what happens. First, I am going to select the frog. I have selected this frog. And here it is treated with vehicle. And now I am going to see the time. It is 32 seconds. So I am writing here 32. Next again I am selecting another frog here. And I am going to see how much time it is taking to reach the caudal end. That is 31. So for a vehicle treated frog I have seen that it is taking 30 seconds or 31 seconds of time to reach the caudal point. Next, I am selecting a drug treated frog. So see here it has been drug treated. Let me see the time it takes by the poppy seed. That is 15, sorry 16 seconds. Again I am selecting a frog which is treated with acetylcholine. The time taken is seconds. So, I have got an observation table that where on administering the vehicle, the time taken by the poppy seed to reach the caudal end and the time taken by the drug administered to reach the poppy seed to the caudal end. So, let's quickly see the observation table. So, see this is my response table. In this table, vehicle treated and drug treated. Here I have taken two observations that is 31 second of time, 32 second that is vehicle treated and this is 15 second and 16 second. These are the average values. So, you can see that on administering acetylcholine which is a cholinergic drug, the ciliary movement is rapid. 
So by this experiment, dear all of you can understand that ciliary movement is rapid and faster on administering the cholinergic drug. And if I administer anticholinergic drug, the movement will be slower. So our practical experiment is getting matched with the theoretical experiment. Thank you all of you for watching this video. Hope this virtual lab experiment will help you in doing your assignments as well. Thank you.